What's up everybody, I'm Duke James, this is Zanzibar. So I can't send a merchant over here because it's the same node, but I can improve relations with them and that'll help trading with them a little bit. The only thing is this province doesn't have commercialization, so I actually have to get commercialization in this province. It's got about 835 residents. I'm actually going to see moving a thousand residents into that province from... Maziz... Mazizima. Just a thousand shouldn't be that much money. Move from... to... Residence... Oh, 40. Okay, yeah. That's actually pretty cheap if you move a thousand. You move a thousand, it's 42 ducats. 15 mil power. Okay. So that now has 1800, so. Should be able to open up. A commerce slot. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. It didn't open that up. This province is building garrison for some reason. Maybe if I build amenities. But I want to build a garrison first. Actually, don't want to build a garrison. I think if I let the if I let the AI do it, it'll eventually go. I don't want to pay the hundred ducats. I do want to get poll taxes eighteen because that unlocks another group, and I will grab mercantilism. Which gives domestic trade power 20%, provincial trade power 10%, merchant trade power 0.3, commerce district cost negative 10%, multi autonomy change negative 0 0.05, 10% embargo efficiency, negative 25% admin advisor cost, negative 10% harborage infrastructure cost, naval combat bonus off owned coasts plus 0.1, and 10% caravan power. Apparently, I'm the only country that has grabbed this. Pairing this with naval quality gives 50% embargo efficiency. Pairing this with logistics gives negative 0.05 multi-autonomy change. Too bad logistics is not very good. This is engineering. Actually, what does logistics do? Land and naval attrition, shipbuilding time, recruitment time, reinforced speed, global ship repair. Pathing harborage, infrastructure cost, negative 10%, national supply limit modifier, 20%. Attrition for enemies, 1. Negative 10%. Manpower training cost, movement speed, fort maintenance, national garrison growth. Yeah, logistics is like, it's a lot of like mid-tier stuff in one idea group. I want my uh, first military idea to be naval ideas. I have more dip, so... If I'm just taking logistics for the finisher... Monthly autonomy change, I don't think that's really worthwhile. I suppose I could always grab it in the future as well. I probably won't, but I could. So I grab these first four, which just perfectly lines up. Put some more money into the Commerce District and Zanzibar, which are, we're now getting 0 0.04 per month. So 1617 will get it. 200 years.
And the Metropolitans are... Yeah, this is definitely based around power, I believe. I suppose another way, instead of... I could promote the burger faction and expand clan autonomy. That would give 0 0.075 monthly autonomy change, which is bad, but less bad than the chiefs owning the country. I'm going to also give 2% power in all yearly clan provinces for the next 10 years. 25% autonomy from power for the next 10 years. That'd be 7.5. 7.5 and then 5 from those would be 17.5. But their power would be reduced. I'm going to go ahead and enforce special tolls, promote the Metropolitan faction. I'm going to see if the Metropolitans hold power next year. Once the uh, totals change. Marina is just building troops. What are you guys doing? Marina's maximum manpower is 8,300. They have four troops built. But they have 8,300 manpower? Am I reading this right? Shouldn't they have... They have over their maximum manpower, actually. That's definitely bugged. I have truces with everybody over here right now. So, although they all hate me, I've got truces. I'm also improving with Ethiopia. Because I should try and make them an ally against Azurim. So I'm going to improve with them up to max. What was I doing? Tribes? Yeah, I'm going to wait six months. I'm going to wait for the next year. I just want to see where the uh, influence is at. Because... I have to give this uh, permit the old ways, which gives a little bit of Chief's influence. So I want to see if the Chiefs would take over with that. Because that kind of makes the whole thing um, moot. Hey, Lundu, didn't you ally these guys? <laughs> Weren't you allied in the past? Or did they, they might have just guaranteed them because they released them. All right, can we get to one stability? Yes, we can. All right, so the chiefs no longer have power, and I have that negative 0 0.05, so autonomy in some provinces, like in my capital, it's decreasing by 0 0.25 per month, so that's going to decrease a lot. A lot of these provinces should dip below 100% now. Oh yeah, this province is decreased by 0.231. And it still has a little bit of separatism as well. I get negative 0.129 autonomy change from legitimacy. As long as I keep that high, we're good. I 
This province still doesn't have amenities. There's 4,300 people living here. Speaking of which, I should do a census. Everybody loves censuses, right? Sensei. It's kind of a, a tall campaign right now. All right, 1.7, close to 1.7 million tenants. I have to sneeze. No false alarm. All right. Growing by 19,000. We have about a thousand inward movement and about a thousand outward movement. Thirty-two hundred people are moving into the cities. Four hundred natural change. We have one hundred forty-three thousand residents and some clergy and some burgers. In terms of wealth, the tenant fulfillment, life and comfort is above two. Luxury is one point seven. Knowledge is one point seven. So that's actually pretty good in those on that front. Residents. Life is good. Comfort and luxury, not so much. Knowledge is good. These guys, who really cares about them? They can they can look after themselves. They're rich. A little bit of a food deficit. I think that it's actually closed a little bit over time. Salt's good. Fiber's good. A little bit of a fuel deficit. Raw material deficit. Exotic goods actually pretty good. We produce no delicacies, so that's a deficit. Luxury deficit. Consumer military deficit, industrial deficit, a little bit of a naval surplus, and a little bit of a knowledge deficit. Alright, which province is actually best for... Forests. Do all my owned provinces get the range from the value from the provinces? I'll do absolute linear. Red to yellow to green. All right, uh, Madagascar is the best area for that. Yeah, this province peasants growing by about three thousand. All right, I'll do 30 deck investment into those provinces. I put these ships to protect trade in Zanzibar. It doesn't give me much money. I actually lose money overall, but it should give me more trade power, which will help the cities build. At least I think that's how it works. If it doesn't work like that, somebody tell me. Oh, they tell you subjects rebel factions. That's cool. Some of the stuff I imagined was in the game. I just had an old version, so it just didn't show it. And interestingly, now we're getting a little bit of manpower from levies. A little bit more from noble levies, too, so... What I'm doing is working. Alright, the Metropolitans, it's January and the Metropolitans have held control, so... I think if I give... If I give this... I get 0.15 influence, but I think the Metropolitans, Metropolitans should hold. Is so that, um, that last chief's thing is still not... Oh, it must be, uh, this year then. Where is that? March 13th, okay. Got a little bit of time. Yeah, my trade power went from 54 to 65% in Zange. 
and the trade power in Zenji Bar went from 18.8 to 20.5. There we go. Expanded authority has expired. My state reach has declined to 1.79. All right, I'm going to do this. Bump them down to 54%. Then I will reduce tributes, permit the old ways, and expand clan autonomy. So they'll gain back 2% of that. And it'll increase monthly autonomy change. But that's a way for me to weaken the tribes without giving them control of the country. It's 0 0.075 versus 0.2. So they're both bad, but one's slightly less bad than the other one. My autonomy should decrease still, even with that. And then I get that state reach, which will decay, but... I'll have it. I think at this point, the burgers just aren't making that much because I don't have... My worldview is very limited, so once I start discovering some of these other nodes and getting territory, then... They should really start uh, start getting rich, especially with trade and mercantilism ideas. Force them is still eight. My manpower is fifteen thousand. Malaria outbreaks. Malaria doesn't spread, so okay. Oh yeah, and this province is adding 6%. Wow, the country that I released sent me an insult. My last visit to the commode was vastly more enjoyable than dinner with the Swahili ambassador. Alright. Well, I didn't like him either. That guy's a... That guy's a prick. It's my, it's my sister's uh, brother. All right, this is over. They're allied to that chain. Yeah, I'm gonna give Marina these two provinces. So we'll go and fight these guys. I'm not sure if sitting on this province will get them out, but I'll try it. It does not, so... They're going to have to defeat their army. There's two forts up here, which might actually screw me over. I'll just go over here and siege down this province. Hey, Marino, you want to go over there? We can double siege. I don't really care about the rest of these. Harbridge infrastructure costs and naval combat off own coast are okay. Caravan power is decent. Embargo efficiency and admin advisor cost aren't that great, so I'll probably just 
hold off on that stuff. I think most of these guys actually have better mill tech than me right now. I think I should still be able to defeat them though. Let's get my power projection dropped below 50. Make a solid three ducats. And the burgers maintain control, so perfect. These guys aren't sieging for some reason, so that's also perfect. This province is building amenities by itself, so that's nice. Cool. So the provinces are doing stuff now. That's building a garrison for some reason. This is still building a harborage. That province is building pathing. I just assume every building that's at 2 and parallelism 2 is the province building it because I have parallelism 10. So... The provinces are building stuff. That's That's definitely good to see. Because that stuff starts to snowball then. There they go, they're active now. This province doesn't have commerce though. It says 1.5 residents. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, without commerce in this province, I can't actually trade. So it's not flowing through this province then. As far, yeah, so sold and purchased is zero. So that should start actually now doing stuff. And I'll just go ahead and... I'll just pay for that garrison and get it built so I can start building amenities. The nobles... All right, 55. I want to get rid of this empowered autonomy. I am increasing the nobility power, so getting rid of this would be nice. It's plus 20% autonomy from noble power. At least one more, down to plus 10% autonomy from noble power. That costs 40 noble loyalty, so I think I'll wait for the next supports to show up. I'll do the strategic marriage. I'm not going to disown an unpopular relative, because I want to max my legitimacy. So autonomy is decreasing. There's still separatism up here. Damn, that takes forever to go away. Or I'm just so uh, aware of it now. We're at 94%. I did also grab this province, so... That could potentially not help. I think I'll just... I'll, gra I'll keep this province. Uh, this stuff... This coastal stuff I'll give to a uh, second vassal. I think I mentioned that before. 
This is a good province. It has 141,000 peasants, so... Hey, my ruler died, finally. Alright, I already got, have uh, troops on the ship. So let's go ahead and begin a new alignment. And I will align with the Metropolitans. Not particularly good advisors. Unless I want to do a reform. I don't think I can do a reform, though. Yeah, my state reach is only 4.19%, so I can't do a reform. Because the cheapest reform is 5 state reach. This one requires 5 state reach and 75 average autonomy. This one requires 5 state reach and 20 bureaucratic influence. So I will align with the Metropolitans the Chiefs have taken over. I guess the good thing about these guys is they're half price. Alright, we lost that siege, but I'm trying to protect this province. This province is better than that province, so... That is a trade-off. I will take this as a long battle. Damn. Alright, these are two... Regular troops. Let's rebuild those troops over there. I didn't have a commander, so I think that's that didn't help. Marina abandoned that siege for some reason. They abandoned that siege to come up here. Those are not the plays. That's another two siege guy. Oh, my legitimacy tanked down to 58? What? It's going to take a while to rebuild. Monthly autonomy change is only 0 0.04, so that cut the monthly autonomy change by a third. So I'm going to pick whoever has the strongest claim, and that is the strongest sum. And he's a 445. So that claim is 25-ish better than... Oh, now they have 7,000 men. They're not going to just give me this province, would they? No, because they're going to get annexed. They have to make it hard. I can't improve with the Mamluks. I know the Ottomans now exist, but they're too far away as well. They have tributary states, Trebizond, Durazzo, and Wallachia. Okay. Crimea and Fadl are allies. Let's 
I'm gonna try to keep my relations as high with most of these powers as I can. With as many uh, neighbors. Oh, they're coming. This might not be a good battle. It's probably not gonna be a good battle, actually. I might lose this. All right, are the Metropolitans gonna take over? I hope so. I'm not sure why they wouldn't. There we go. Okay, yeah. They stopped. Perfect. Battlefield Medic, some land attrition reinforced speed. on that province but it, they still they just don't want to uh, peace out that siege is uh, taking forever up there don't imagine they would peace out no these guys might peace out if I since I took out those troops They will not. Now they will. Alright, and they give up that siege, so perfect. Alright, I think once he once this province is taken, then they should peace out. Give them Bubonic Outbreak. Okay, now that's going to do some damage. That is going to wreak havoc. I'll just sit on this province. Alright, if Marina sits on that province, then they should peace out. Alright, then I give that province to Marina. The other four powers would join the coalition, but I have truces with all of them. They pay 30 ducats. Marina's liberty desire drops by 10%. We gain some prestige. I had to wait a day, and yet they let me make that. Why let me make the peace deal if I had to wait a day? This province is good. 234,000 peasants, growing by about a thousand. I assume all of uh, Marina's provinces are good for food. This province has 1,100 people emigrating out of it. Yeah, 1,700 sized farmlands, 1,500 sized farmlands, 1,300 sized farmlands, 400 sized mines. There's a lot of coal in that province. And then 909 size, so. 
Go ahead and throw 10 ducats into all of Marina's provinces in the farmland. I'll do grain and tax relief. Hey, 0 0.05. I'm going to slowly just brute force this. 1570 now. We cut it by another 40 years. Do another 30 ducats into commerce in this province. Alright, I'm going to end this part here. Probably go for a little bit and then uh, go from there. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.